All right, so let's take a look here at the first game of the October 1993 LSAT, which tells us that a florist is making three corsages from four types of flowers. Gardenias, orchids, roses, and violets. Each corsage will contain exactly three flowers. Again, three corsages, exactly three flowers each, so we can draw our base here as the three corsages nine open spots three per corsage all we're trying to do now is figure out which type of flower goes with which corsage it tells us that the nine flowers used in the corsage must include at least one flower from each of the four types so at least one gardenia at least one orchid at least one rose at least one violet you notice we have five spots remaining so obviously we're going to have certain flowers show up more than once it also tells us that at least twice as many roses as orchids must be used all right so let's think about the possibilities there obviously if we use just one orchid at least twice as many roses would be two and then again Notice we would here in this scenario have four spots remaining because we've placed five. But that's not the only possibility. The other possibility would be two orchids, which would give me at least four roses. And again, you notice we have at least one gardenia, at least one violet. You notice that only leaves one spot open because we have now placed eight of our flowers. But notice that's it. We can never have a scenario where we have three orchids because that would mean at least six flowers must be roses and that's already nine and we haven't even placed one gardenia or one violet so that's definitely not going to work so now let's turn our attention to the remaining conditions it tells us that the corsages must also meet the following specifications all right we're turning our attention to our first specification corsage one must contain exactly two types of flowers so corsage one is going to have exactly two types. All right. The second rule tells us that corsage two must contain at least one rose. Pretty straightforward. You notice we need at least two roses, so we definitely need to place one more, but we don't know where at this time. And the third and final condition tells us that corsage three must contain at least one gardenia but no orchids so we know that corsage three is going to have at least one gardenia but again no orchids so our orchid is going to appear in either one or two because again we have to have an orchid and at this point we haven't placed it can't be in three must be in either one or two and that would be the setup for this game